Bartons! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. For tonight, we dine in hell! How's it going, YouTube? Parasite Generation back with you today to do a video on the first for this channel, I do believe. This is of a OTF knife, which stands for out the front. This is of the Lightning, <clears throat> which is a brand. Um, this is made in Taiwan, okay? And um, don't let that this dissuade you from this review right off the bat, okay? Um, this knife right here is a double action OTF knife. Now, what double action means, if some of y'all don't know this, is when you push it forward, it deploys, and then when you pull back, it goes back into the handle. Okay, that's double action. There's single action where you deploy it and you have to manually pull the blade back into the handle. Okay? Um, I cannot say enough good things about this knife. I've been waiting to get one of these for a long time. Just didn't, never pulled the trigger and I finally got one. Guys, I, I ordered another one. It's not, it's not a Lightning. It's a Titan, which is another brand. And uh, I'll be comparing those in the future. But... All the round for the money, this is a $30 out the front, okay? We're not even going to try to compare them to Microtex or Benchmade Infidels. They're not in the same league, but for the price, this holds its own, okay? It has aluminum handle. I can't tell you what great aluminum, okay? A, um, aluminum button. Stainless steel pocket clip. They come in satin and blacked out. Mine's, of course, satin. Um, <clears throat> they come in a multitude of different kind of colors, uh, handle colors, which you can customize the knife to you. They have them in black, red, green, stormtrooper white, pink, orange, yellow, whatever color you want, they pretty much have it. Um, also, this particular knife is blacked out. It has a black coating on it. They also have them in satin. They have three different blades styles that I've seen. Mine is the drop point with the combination of serrations and plain edge, which is, I tend to like. Some people don't like it, but I do. Um, they have the drop point, they have double, um, double dagger edge, double sided dagger, and they have Tanto, which I'm really a fan of Tanto's, but this was on sale for 30 bucks, so I picked it up. Um, link will be in the description below to where you can buy, purchase one of these. <clears throat> when I first got it, the deployment was kind of stiff, but after a little bit, it deploys and retracts flawlessly with a lot of force. Okay, um, what is the philosophy of use of one of these? In my opinion, I've been using it as a work knife. Okay, I I personally carry two knives. Okay, one for self defense and one for work. And the reason I really like this for work, and yes, I would use this for self-defense if I had to, if I didn't, if I forgot my primary knife, I would, but just one-handed operation. I mean, you're holding something, you need to cut something real quick, deploy, cut it, retract, put it back in your po pocket or on your belt. It's that simple. Uh, you also have to take into account laws, knife laws. I live in Texas, there are no knife laws. I can carry whatever I want, so I can carry this legally. Make sure wherever you live, you're able to carry this legally. I mean, you can carry it illegally, but if you get caught, that's on you. Um, but, and, and people nowadays, they're terrified of switchblades or automatics and stuff like that. They, they're, they just, it just freaks them out. I don't understand it, but it, it does, okay? So you got to be careful on that. Um, the steel on this is 440C, okay? It's not the best steel. It's a low-budget steel, but um, it doesn't have a high edge retention. But it's easy to sharpen, and I like that. It's easy to sharpen up in the field, and you can get a really good edge on it. Um, they come razor sharp. Here. Okay. Just really good edge. I'm not really good at cutting paper on camera. But as you can see there, it's sharp. And that's after cutting boxes and stuff with this with this sucker. Um, and it's just cool to have. 
Now, if you're going to buy out the front and you're not sure you like the out the front, this is also a good starter starter knife because you can you don't have to worry about beating this up. You don't have to worry about breaking it. And if you do use it in a self-defense situation, God forbid, and it gets taken for evidence, you're not out at $800 Halo 6 Microtech, um, and you're going to cry about that. This is a $30 knife you can beat up on, use it, and abuse it, and not have to worry. Now, there are some things that if you're cutting, like, sandbags and stuff like that with this, you got to worry about stuff getting in the action and eventually jamming up your knife. And that's understandable, but for the price you're paying of $30, or maybe a little more depending on where you, where you get it, it's great quality knife for what it is. Now, all out the fronts have a little blade play. This one actually has very little side to side and very little up and down. And uh, to me, that's awesome. It's just the nature of out the fronts, okay? Now... Without the fronts, I would not suggest using them as pry bars. If you're going to pry with something, use a folder or a fixed blade. I would not suggest using a out the front. That's just me. But if it's all you had and you needed to do it, then by all means. But don't be surprised when you break it. Also, just a fun fidget factor. Okay. Now, the blade itself is 3.25 inches. Um, for me, that's a good length. I like that length, which is what she said. On the uh, aluminum scales, on the aluminum handle, it has jimping on top and on the bottom for you to get a good grip. I have medium to large hands, so I get a full purchase on this. The pocket clip does not um, sit wrong in my hand. There's no hot spots on this knife. It's just perfect. It's just a perfect work knife, in my opinion. So, if you're looking for a good out the front knife that's not a lot of money, with a good uh, with a steel that's easy to sharpen, deploys quick and fast, and only weighs 3.9 ounces, and you hardly know you have it in your pocket, I, I say give the Lightning a try. Just just buy one and ch check it out, and carry it for work or self defense or whatever you want it for. Just make sure your local knife laws allow you to do so. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have an out the front, if you carry it for work or self-defense, um, let me know. Because I'm actually starting to get really good into out the fronts. Um, like my granddad used to say, violence is the last resort of the thinking man. Only a fool would refuse to face the facts when it becomes an option for life. Y'all stay armed and safe. And y'all get you out the front. Peace.